Hello everyone, my name is Jonin. The fog and volumetric lightings can be really heavy and hard to control in Octane Render. It costs lots of time to render it and it can be really noisy. So, today I'm going to show you three little tips about how to make volumetric light fast and easy in Octane Render. So, let's start with this simple scene I make. Now, I want the fog fail, so let's create a plan and put it here. Assign it a simple material. And go to the opacity channel. Let's set the value about 0.25 and now you can see fog fail is in our scene and what's more create a noise node octane noise node and let's make it more contrast now go to transform adjust its scale and make it like race Adjust the rotation you want. But you may notice that there's a line on the floor. So how do we solve this? Let's go to the opacity channel again. Now multiply an octane dirt node. Make its strength value to like uh, 8. And now we have a smooth edge around the floor. The dirt node will detect your scene, so you don't have to worry about the problem we saw before. I learned this tips from Beepo's file. You can download it from the link below. This one is really simple. Create a big plan and put it in the background. And now create octane area light, put it like here. You can see it seems like there's heavy fog. And you can see it seems like there's heavy fog behind the scene. If you really want to real volumetric light rays, let's back to the start. I always start with a cube, make sure my lighting's direction. And what's more, put any texture you want on the opacity channel. Now you can get a real light race. And what's more, it's uh, you can adjust it with transform node in any shape you want. And here's an extra tips. Uh, you may notice that when you are in Octane Live Viewer, you GPUs doesn't run in 100% usage. Uh, you can go to Octane Settings, Parallel Samples, and set the value very high. And now you can see your GPU is running in almost 100%. And that's it. Thanks for watching.